And then take a nice deep breath and just gently let your eyes begin to open, take in colors and light. Just press your palms up to the ceiling. Good, I'm not gonna teach you stretching. You all know stretching. And then just lean over, you might touch your neighbor, oh my gosh. The environment, the colors of the walls in your home or using full spectrum lighting can make a big difference in how you feel. Every single thing has some sort of impact and does it bring you more peace or energy? It's a very vulnerable position. Yeah. You're in front of all these people and you got this thing going on. Yeah, and so where inside of you do you know that that's a truth, that you love her and that you can trust her and that you, you can be there for her? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm here to tell you isn't anything that we don't all go through. In fact, just a few years ago I was, um, I, when the economy took a dive, I lost three corporate accounts. I was going through a divorce and caring for my mom with stage four lung cancer. One of the most ancient techniques that I use that got me through a lot of that, and you're all doing it to some extent right now, is breathing. So let's just breathe in through your nose right now. And then open the mouth and sigh out the breath. That just puts some more deposit of your energy in versus depleting your energy. Thoughts and images are the precursor to a lot of emotional and physical manifestation. And a belief is just a thought that we've been thinking over and over again. Fingers come together. Fingers come together. Fingers come together. Are they coming together? What happens is the blood flows easily back to the heart and the vital organs. It bathes the endocrine system, especially the adrenals and the thyroid, which really take a beating because it's kind of like you're always putting your foot on the gas pedal. If you're in this position, like at work, no one will bother you. 